Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty at Cerebellum and today I have immense pleasure to invite Dr. Sanskriti who uh, got the rank of 636 in this INICT May 2025. So congratulations and very warm welcome Dr. Sanskriti. How are I'm you feeling right now? I'm feeling like I don't know how to describe it like the feeling of like, this was not expected by me at all like I was not imagining I would get such a good rank like considering the paper that had the day I came, come after giving the exam I was not so confident I was like it went okay but love it was moderate not that great but this was not expected like I'm feeling elated beyond measure <laughs> All right. So uh, congratulations once again. Now tell me about your story, uh, how you started preparing, when you started preparing and how you got to know about Cerebellum as a platform. Uh, I'm actually I started preparing very late. I mean, it sounds surprising, but I started in internship, actually. The serious preparation, I started only during internship. And uh, Cerebellum, I had gotten to know, I was actually invited to one of the events that uh, you had for the felicitation of the toppers, like the top three, the prof toppers, uh, in which there was uh, the cash prize and one year subscription Cerebellum. was given free. Yeah. yeah. So from that event, I had gotten to know and... Uh, after that i got to try it for one year the subscription and that is i really like that so i renewed that for another two years and switch uh, yeah that's how i got to know so uh, in the cerebellum also uh, sanskriti we have uh, mission classes we have recorded lectures we have marathons we have quick revision so how did you choose and how did you follow and which uh, uh, you can say source you followed uh, mainly when I relied on the mission videos, I really liked the concept that uh, Cerebellum has live classes. That is the one thing I really like because for me watching videos used to take up a lot of time. Like one hour video, I used to take three hours. I don't know how much time to watch the recorded videos. So live vid uh, classes was a very good uh, bonus point for me. So I really liked the concept of the mission classes. And especially since I started an internship, so obviously there was no time to do the main notes of every subject. So like mission classes were completing one subject in four or five days and that is I found that very helpful like and you also got a sense of completion like in four days okay I'm done with the subject otherwise on my own I don't know how long I would have taken to complete that one subject so mission classes I found were a lifesaver for me. So you used to attend all the classes? Not all the class, some of the sub most subjects I attended, but some of them which I had already done, like from revision videos, then those I followed my revision notes, the earlier revision notes I already had. All right. What about ENDs that we used to have after mission classes? ENDs, yes. On that time, uh, in the I attended the first lap of the mission classes. So at that time, I used to do ENDs after every class. And what was your strategy one month before, let's say, two weeks before the exam? One month before, mainly I found the GTs uh, very helpful. Like at least I made it a point to give one GT every week and then review that, obviously. And I had a notebook in which I used to write all the mistakes from the GTs. And that notebook I found was extremely useful. Like just one day before the exam, the no that notebook is the only thing I did because it had everything, all my mistakes, the stuff that I kept getting wrong again and again. That was like very high yield stuff. So one day before, all I did was that notebook and that really helped me. And and especially the when the cerebellum has those late night PYQs, they were also extremely helpful. Like every day I made it a point, if I'm not doing anything else, at least I will solve those 50 questions. Like some days you're not feeling very productive and there are low productive days. So at least solving 50 questions gave me some sense like at least, okay, I've done something today. All right. So you have solved that. Now tell me what you used to do when you, let's say, feel stressed, like Ab nahi ho ya fir, now what should I do like that? So what do you used to do at that time? Like you had a friend's family or any support from uh, any side or you used to go out. What you used to do? Yeah, support I had. I'm very lucky to have a very good support from my family. Like I stay at home. So my parents and especially my elder sister, she's like 10 years older to me. So she's has been acting like a guiding light in my life 
थ्रू आउट एंड शी ऑलवेज हेल्प मी स्टडी एंड मोटिवेट मी मैं आई एम फीलिंग डिप्रेस एंड डाउन एंड लाइक फीलिंग स्ट्रेस इज अटी नॉर्मल थिंग सो आई यूज टू जस्ट टेक अ ब्रेक लाइक वन डे और टू आई एम लाइक इट्स ओके आई यूज टू टेल माई सेल्फ इट्स फाइन एवरी वन के गोज थ्रू दीज फेज एल जस्ट गेट बैक अप आफ्टर आई एम फ्रेश एंड रिज्यूबिनेटेड इट्स ओके टू टेक अ ब्रेक फॉर वन डे और समथिंग Okay, so uh, you have now cracked it. So, what is uh, your plan uh, future ahead? Like, which subject you are leaning towards? Uh, I had an interest in ophthalmology, actually. All right. So you will be going for ophthalmology. Yeah. All right. So congratulations once again. Any last uh, advice that you want to give to your uh, juniors or the uh, you know students who are watching this video? right now i would just like to say just focus on the gts and the pyqs like don't skip the gts most important is the gts like first of all for time management obviously if you don't give as many gts as possible you won't get an idea of the time also and uh, like most people are, are scared of gts like i talked to a couple of friends of mine so they were all like you know abhi humne utna padha nahi hai utna prepared nahi hai and most people keep waiting like abhi jab sare subjects ho jayenge then we we'll give the gt so that is what you should हमेशा ही देते रहने चाहिए लाइक एवरी वीक वन जी टी एंड देन रिव्यू दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जस्ट मेंटेन अ नोटबुक ऑल योर मिस्टेक्स एंड एवरी थिंग दैट नोटबुक कम्स इन हैंडी अ लॉट एंड पी वाई क्यूज एवरी डे बिस कंसिस्टेंसी इज द की so that is the most important so practicing question uh, that's what you wanted to say ki practicing question is the most important and yeah. gt mein it is the time management which uh, comes in uh, with that all right Yeah. and uh, do you used to get uh, good ranks uh, from the initial time or you used to be also no it was very actually it was very bad in the initial few gts it was very bad i don't even want to tell you what was the rank in those gts but then it improved the same the consistency is the key like keep giving them until you finally get that good rank like don't be disheartened if you get bad ranks in the initial ones because whenever we uh, you know students ask about the gts they don't give the gts because uh, you know in the last uh, gt let's say they got a very bad rank and they stop giving that because they feel like they will lose the confidence and all so that's why this is consistency mm-hmm. is important right so mm-hmm. even the toppers and even the students who crack the exam initially might not they might also got the uh, you know not so good rank we can say so we should not get scared from the ranks yes not at all just keep <laughs> giving them is the key all right so congratulations uh, dr sanskriti and uh, we will be uh, you know immensely happy if you come to the cerebellum event also we will see you definitely there right and enjoy your time all the best beta thank you ma'am thank you, thank you.